get the goods. And now it's quickly time to pop in Primark. New in bits I've not seen before. A very successful trip. Her cupcake is 67 calories. Pre-warning, they definitely are Marmite. You'll either love them and think they're insane or you will hate them. And as she came and approached the counter and everything, I was like, your shoes are amazing. She's like, I just bought these. Yeah, I got them from Gucci. They've never lost, left my mind and I really, really wanted them. It's finally Friday. My favorite part of the day is about to happen, which is after I go have a shower, put my loungewear on, and tonight we are having burgers and chips. I am so excited for this. Obviously, as you guys know, I eat, I'm eating very healthy at the moment still, so we've got skinny burgers, but they're basically just lower fat meat, mince meat, which I always buy anyway. We've got some nice burger buns here. And then I have just prepared our chips. So I always have, and this has been like my new thing since the beginning of the year, because I'm trying to like lower my carb intake, which obviously always helps with weight management. I have been having butternut squash chips every single time. I literally haven't had like real chips at home since 2022. Um, but yeah, I basically cut up a butternut squash and ignore the top ones, but the rest of them are made into chip shapes. And it's really, really easy. So you just have to get a bit of corn flour, a little bit of oil, and then I just season it with whatever I want. So on this, I put like smoked paprika, a bit of garlic granules, and just salt and pepper. For Andy then, I make um, sweet potato because he prefers that. He likes the butternut squash ones, but he prefers sweet potato. So we've got those chips. I'm gonna just do a few onion rings. That's like the most unhealthy thing. These are brioche buns. I have tried having like wholemeal bread and I'm just like, it's not even worth it. These buns are so nice. So I have those, a little bit of cheese in there. And it's basically like a really naughty meal, but it's really not that bad at all. And the reason I can make these healthy is because of the sponsor of today's video, which I'm very excited to share with you guys, which is Chef Free. So this is the Chef Free AFW01 Air Fryer, and it has just arrived today. So I am absolutely buzzing to give this a go. It's got all of your settings on here. I need to plug it in and I'll show you. But if we open it up, it's got such a big storage space in here and as you can see here it also has a toast rack so if you want to like conserve space you can literally get rid of your toaster if you've got this and just use it to toast your toast <laughs> obviously this allows you to be really creative as well so like i said to andy we can maybe do some like tacos or something and just sort of air fry them and make them all crispy before we eat them so that is basically just a little mount so it's easier for you to cook and have things standing upwards and then this is the tank so it genuinely is so so big i'm so excited about having this you'll see in a minute when i turn it on but this is also actually a window so when you're cooking this is what makes chef free different when you're cooking you can actually see what is cooking inside so I bought these air fryer liners the other day. So while it's all new, I'm going to be popping that in before. Two pounds. Okay, I'm going to put just put them in for two like that. That'll be the only way it'll work, I guess. Just makes it a little easier to keep clean, I guess. Although this is genuinely just a tray. It's going to be so easy to keep clean. Okay, so I've plugged it in. If we turn it on, this is the display that you get. So you've got the six different settings. Air fry, bake, air roast grill, reheat, and dehydrate, which is great. If I open it up, I've put my sweet potatoes in there with the liner, and I've got enough room to put our onion rings, but they don't take as long as the chips. So I'm gonna close that up, you get the beep, and it's so easy to use. You literally turn it on, you choose your setting on this, so air fry, bake, air roast, grill, reheat, dehydrate, I'm obviously gonna go for air fry. It defaults to 200, so it goes to a maximum of 200, but you can reduce that if you want to. And then also on the timer, it defaults, I think, to 20 minutes, but you can up that as much as you want or obviously lower that as well. So I think for these, I mean, I tend to do them in the oven for about 30 minutes on 180, so maybe it should be around 25 minutes on 200 um, and then we simply have a play and pause and then we've got this little light button so if you have a look i have got my liner sticking up but as you can see this is what is different to most air fryers you usually just have a drawer and that's it but i can actually see what's cooking which is amazing so 200 for 25 minutes and let's cook oh my gosh it's so quiet Usually, like, the last air fryer I've had was so loud. This is making basically no noise. That's it. 
amazing. I'll check back when they're done. Okay, so the timer just went off. And ta-da! Oh my gosh, those onion rings are so crispy. I put it in for 25 minutes, so I know now probably more about 20 for the chips, which is actually what the setting was already on, so I put it up. But I'm getting used to it. Got this, and I'm gonna plate up and our first air fryer dinner. Dinner is served. These are my butternut squash chips. I've actually just put them in here, a few of them, just to see if they'll crisp up nicely, only for five minutes. But yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for this tea. So glad that's done. I'm so proud of myself. Time to get the circuit. So I finished the gym. I popped my mum and dad's now and had a shower and feeling a lot fresher. I wasn't gonna vlog today, which is why I'm on my phone at the minute, but I'm now going in town. Well, I was gonna vlog and then this morning I was just in not a great mental place. I didn't want to go to the gym. I was tired. I've had a chest infection the last couple of weeks, which I didn't even know about. It's on its way out now, so I'm not going to bother going to the doctor to get any antibiotics or anything. But yeah, like if you can hear it, I'm really wheezy on my chest. And I don't know, I just, I still need to go to the gym. I'm off to Marbella on Sunday this week. So I've got my day off today, which is all my holiday prep and to get stuff done. So I'm popping in town. I'm getting my nails done and I'm going to get a full set of nails i've decided that i want to do that again I'm, I'm i don't ever go like long but i just want i feel like every time i look at my videos or edit my videos i do a lot of like come shop with me's where i show you guys my hands and i just feel like they constantly look a state my nails are better at growing as you can see i've got like they look fairly healthy apart from my nail beds but they're just they don't last i've tried so hard and they don't last so they're getting extensions put on them i've got that booked in in town and then i'm going to run into primark and look at some of the bathroom stuff just for my nan and gramps bathroom because my mum and dad are doing their bathroom up at the moment so i said that i would have a look and try and buy the like accessories for it because it's a brand new bathroom so i'm going to check in primark i'll film in there and show you guys what's new in the little home section as well I'm going to be really quick because I need to get back. I've got content to film today for Instagram um, and then get stuff to the post office. So I'm on a tight schedule today. I've also got to drop a vintage item at every drop off as well as I've got to go pick up my trainers. So I don't share a lot of my designer items on here just because it's interesting. You guys always ask me and you want to see, but I get really nervous about showing designer items on here because... Not that I care what people think, but it just opens up a can of worms to some people who are just like, yeah, you don't need to spend that much money on stuff, even though it's my own money. So I think I'm gonna try and break out of my comfort zone and show you guys because I bought these shoes. Oh my goodness, you guys. I don't know if I put them in the thumbnail, maybe. I, I probably should have done if I didn't then, but I probably did. These shoes are insane and I they're actually a few seasons old they're quite a few years old actually but I've always loved them and there's a fun story behind how I discovered these shoes anyway I've been keeping an eagle eye on Vestiaire Collective for them but it seems like all the sizes that were on resale were like tiny sizes um and finally one popped up in my size in the UK and I went and bought them it was a little bit of an investment, but I'm so excited about it. Because they're pre-loved though, I wanted them completely cleaned and restored. And there's a guy here in Bristol um, who's got a business and my cousin recommended him. So I dropped off my shoes with him. He's had them for nearly a week now and I'm gonna go collect them today. So I will show you those when we're done. But apart from that, I am desperate for a coffee. So let's head into town. I'm gonna pop into prep and I'm gonna get a coffee and go to my nail appointment. Before I go actually, because I can't have a coffee, I'm gonna have my ginger shot. This is not the one from Pret. I buy the ones from Pret and keep these little bottles. This is homemade, literally lemon and ginger tonic. So there's no apple in this one. The Pret one is much nicer with the apple. <sighs> it burns, but it's so good. It's a good burn, especially after a workout. I've just done a 5K run and then back to back, like literally five minute break with a 45 minute circuits class. That is my routine on a Wednesday, but I usually only manage to do 3K sometimes because I do a 5K on Tuesday night. So it literally feels like Tuesday night, I run a 5K, go home, sleep, get up and run a 5K. Um, and I'm not a runner, guys. I'm not a runner at all, but I'm forcing myself to. I'm starting to find joy in it because I'm taking it a bit slower. I used to run at 10 on the treadmill, like speed wise. And 
I realized, why am I doing that? Because I'm not trying to build metabolism. I'm trying to burn calories. So actually running slower for longer is better for calorie burn. The prep ones are £2.50 for one of these. Crazy money. Um, but it is a ginger and apple shot, not ginger and lemon. But also hack, not hack, dupe, I suppose, of this. If you like these ginger shots from prep, you can get pretty much the same thing in a little can in Lidl for 99p. So I buy loads of those and keep them in the fridge too. Okay, so it's a bit early, so I'm gonna go and see if I can get some travel bits first in Poundland. Okay, so they didn't actually have much travel stuff. But I got my razors and I just got a mini travel spray. I was gonna buy some at the airport, but this is actually quite a decent size. More expensive for this than it is a full-size bottle, £2.50, and they were £2.50 as well. I know they were already £2 for four razors. There we go. Cheers. We got the goods. Now time to get the nails done, finally. So I get my nails done just there and then I'm getting a Eater Pitta for lunch to treat myself. Love it, even though it's actually really healthy. So, win-win. Okay, I'm all done and my nails are amazing. Let me show you. I am obsessed. These are definitely holiday nails, like pearl. That's what I was going for, mermaid pearl vibes. So cute. And now it's quickly time to pop in Primark. Right, I'm in Primark and I'm just gonna head to the home section. I'm gonna try and be as tunnel visioned as possible here. They have got such a cute spring set up here. Lots of spring colors. Lots of pinks over here. And this is the little setup for spring and Easter, which is cute. Must admit these colors do not tempt me whatsoever though. Here's some new in bits I've not seen before. I've seen the body, little body bars, and we've seen these, but it looks like they've re-merchandised. That one's new as well. More donut vases. We've even got a little cell section still. And this is what I'm here for. I really don't know what range to go for. I was going to go with the marble, which just so helps that it's on sale, but that was not what I was intending. It's also got quite a lot of black in it. I also feel like there isn't a whole range, actually. Oh, I actually need that. Amazing, it's reduced to six pounds, providing everything's in there. Awesome. So that wasn't very uh, good for the bathroom stuff. I just ended up getting this on sale, but I'm gonna go to B&M, I think, and check there, because I need to get the stuff today. Okay, so I'm driving to my next destination, which is gonna be B&M, and then I'm gonna pick up my shoes and I needed to eat because I literally am starving. I do my workouts on a Wednesday fasted, so it's currently 2.02. I did a 1200 calorie workout and haven't ate anything. So I always get the largest one of this and I can't eat it all. It is huge, but it's mainly vegetables, which is amazing. And then the falafels are unreal. Like I know falafels can get overrated, but these aren't these are worth the hype and then there's my every drop off over there i'm gonna run out drop this off head to b&m and then pick up my shoes okay so every dropped off and as you can see at b&m i'm eating more because i'm so hungry <clears throat> literally they give you tons as well it is everything's so expensive these days like i can't even comprehend when i used to buy this it used to be like five quid it's now seven something i mean it's still worth every penny that's for sure it's so good but um I heard on the radio today, obviously we all know that we're in a cost of living crisis, but I don't like, and we're in a recession, but it hasn't felt like it at all because everyone's 
in fact I feel like the shops are busier I feel like holidays are busier because people are still kind of recouping from Covid and I think maybe kind of compensating for the time we couldn't go out and about yeah it's a very strange time where we're in a recession but it doesn't feel like it is anyway the cost of living and inflation is a real obviously a real thing so we will start seeing the effects of that soon and I think we really will soon because it said on the radio um so like groceries have been hit hardest the most and I must admit I've noticed this as well in Asda I shop at Asda all the time unfortunately because I don't like the supermarkets I always want to go to Aldi or Lidl if I can Aldi's my number one choice but it was saying like groceries went up initially like 0 point something percent and now they're up like oh I can't even understand how gross i look so pale i can't wait to get home and dye my hair and do my brows and everything um they're now up 10 odd percent it's just absolutely mad and i really am seeing it now in the shops because i do this and because i'm literally in these bargain shops and i'm in the supermarkets every single week i see it it's about to hit hard i think anyway so in that <laughs> b&m i'm gonna go grab some bathroom stuff hopefully for my nan and gramps new bathroom to give my mum and dad on saturday and also they did in here which i seen on hazel wood's video of her b&m come shot with me that they do these skinny cupcake things i never noticed them i'm really hoping my store has them i need to check the calories and stuff because sometimes they're called skinny and they're not actually that good for you i'm gonna hope they have those and then i need to go and get my shoes and then that's me going home i said i was gonna film some content for instagram but it's already half past two i don't think i'm gonna have time when i get home like, I'm just gonna want to chill because I've been non-stop today and I know nails is like that's my relaxed time that is a stop time but it's still kind of like high alert talking out and about so yeah I'm gonna go see what's in B&M my B&M come shop with me is actually going live today weirdly enough so if you do want to see an in-depth what's in B&M then make sure you check that video out sorry I, I'm so I don't like filming on my phone but I forgot my camera today and I'm noticing that that's now me looking at you and that's what I keep doing and it's really annoying so i do apologize i'm gonna try and look at the camera okay so i found them three packets left okay, so here's the bathroom aisle oh goodness okay i don't know where to start i don't know what color theme to go for for them i think i'm just gonna stick with white but saying that there oh there's more over here so this is the set that i bought myself this stone set which I do really like I don't think I want to go for any wood because that's not the theme of the bathroom I oh I was gonna say I would have gone for this but they haven't got chrome and they do okay this is a contender oh my gosh I can get the little ducky as well that's cute and then I don't think my nan and gramp will probably want that one so I'll probably end up getting this little tuft mat which is quite nice or just if they do a plain white one like this I'll get as well they don't need a shower coat. Oh, I've got to get a toilet brush as well. I'm going to want to make sure that matches. Or this is quite... Actually, this is just quite nice, you know. Nice and modern. And their sink is actually like a... Um, like an Ikea chest of drawers with a sink on top. So actually, that might look really nice. I could then get the matching... Without the chip. <laughs> the matching little tray as well. So I've got that as an option. Little bathroom sign, that's cute. I might just grab that as an accessory. Oh, they do the toilet brush holder in that square as well. I'm also really excited. I got the skinny cupcakes. They are really small. They're smaller than I thought, but nevertheless, we'll give them a go at 69 calories for one. Okay, so a very successful trip in the end. <laughs> Everything for the bathroom and more. I'll show you when I get home what I picked up, but I also picked up these that I showed you in store that I wanted to try. I am actually quite hungry, so I'm going to try them now. I did notice that it says 13th of March on the best before, and today is the 22nd of March. I'm hoping that means 2024, because it's not very clear, but I have a feeling it's probably last week, which is terrible. But anyway, I'm going to try them. I cannot be asked today. They look like this. They smell really chocolatey. And yeah, as you can see, cupcake, they're tiny. They're like teeny tiny. They're quite dry. You'd need them with a cup of tea. They are nice. They're really chocolatey. Mmm. That was curb a sweet tooth. Mmm. I definitely don't taste off if they are. 
They do a red velvet one of these as well, which I want to try. So this is the Skinny Cake Crew, double chocolate skinny cupcakes. And they're 60, well, it says per cupcake is 67 calories. I like that. It just scratches the itch. You know when you've got a sweet tooth, like I've just had a bit of that salad and it was, it's all very savoury. And it's just nice to curb your sweet tooth. They were two pounds um, as well. So that's pretty decent considering like the Skinny Bakery Co. I think it's called the Skinny Bakery Co. It's on Instagram. It's a small business which look amazing. But like for like three, no, four or five small little like a donut things it's like three pound 90 nearly four pounds plus then obviously you've got to pay shipping so yeah i think that is a pretty good alternative right time to go pick up the shoes and then i'm gonna go home i'll show you guys the shoes and i will show you all of the stuff i got for the bathroom because it is so cute i am shook it's gonna look amazing i'm popping over there on sa saturday to give this all to my mum and dad and help them set it up in the bathroom. So let's go get my shoes and go home because I need a cup of tea. I'm back now, I've had a shower, I've dyed my roots, I've put skincare on and I've finished doing my packing. Well, the packing I can for now. I got home and things were just crazy. So I needed to just take some time on my own. I went and had a shower, like I said, uh, dyed my roots and I've done my hair, I've just blow dried it and I finished packing as well. So I've just been having some nice time. I steamed my airport outfit. I always wear cycle shorts when I'm traveling somewhere warm. So I'm wearing that. I'm probably just my Von Dutch t-shirt. I'm not too sure if I'll wear that yet. I might wear a hoodie or something as well. So this has been my setup. I've put my comfies on now as well because I am just ready for a chill day. I've got so much done today. I had a cup of tea. I was watching a bit of YouTube and then I've separated all of my liquids. Now I don't know if I'm going to get all of these liquids into one of the little plastic containers so I'm going to have to try that. And then I've got my beauty stuff in there and I've got my little bit of makeup in here. I'm not going to bring a ton with me because I do it every time and then especially in hot weather I just can't be bothered to put makeup on. I really do enjoy the look of tinted moisturizer to foundation anyway. So yes, I'm gonna try and embrace the clear skin. Jerry's up here, been running around like a headless chicken. I've got my big H&M order here and I've got another order that came today which just had these two tops in it. You'll probably see them over on my Instagram. I do all of my clothing reels over there but I'll show you guys a sneak peek. I'm also gonna try and film on Saturday and get a video in of the H&M haul but this is one of the items I love it but it kind of goes to it's it's ribbed here but it kind of goes to a weird length so I'm going to try it on with some jeans because I really want to love this but I think I'm it might not it's just a little bit long if it was shorter on the torso it would have been a bit better but anyway pick that one up it is absolutely gorgeous and then this one oh my goodness I love this it looks incredible on and it's got this embroidery there is actually a matching skirt I it was sold out so I'm going to try and get it but I don't think I'll end up getting it and even if I do I probably will only wear this with jeans anyway it is so nice I cannot wait to wear this in summer I've got a bunch of Primark stuff that I really need to film but I might just hold on to until my April hey Baba <laughs> my April content because I've run out of time for March now to be fair I only did grab this the other day so it is still New in stuff. New in. Oh, and I need to show you my shoes now. Pre-warning, they definitely are Marmite. You'll either love them and think they're insane or you will hate them. Not the nicest backdrop, but I just want to sit down and show you. Of course, the sausage wants to come. So these shoes are very, very Marmite, but the story I said about earlier, very, very quick story, don't worry. I used to work on the Tom Ford counter in Harvey Nichols. And because a lot of you guys asked me what my job is and what I used to do, and that was my old occupation job industry. Um, so yeah, I used to work at Tom Ford. I was the account manager in Harvey Nichols in Bristol. And um, obviously you get a lot of quite wealthy people coming in because you know, they sell like 300 pound bottles of perfume. Um, so I remember this one car, one lady, she used to come in all the time. And I think she owned a chain of health clubs or something or gyms or something like that. And she was clearly quite wealthy. She used to come in all the time by the makeup and the fragrance. And she came in one day with these trainers on but in the khaki green colored ones. And I remember so vividly what seeing her walk in and thinking, oh my goodness, I love those shoes. And obviously they were from a distance, so I didn't actually know 
what shoes they were. She used to wear loads of Nike and Adidas. She was very sporty. So if all I could, all I know, they could have been whatever shoes. But I remember seeing them and thinking, oh my goodness, they are insane. And as she came and approached the counter and everything, I was like, your shoes are amazing. She's like, I just bought these. Yeah, I got them from Gucci and everything. And I was just, and you can clearly, you'll see in a second. You'll see. I, I'm going to stop waffling on and I'm going to show you the shoes. But anyway, they do them in, in a few different colours. They do a pink, a green. I think they do like a black and they do the white. So I have looked... I have looked at these for the last year or so trying to find them because they've never lost left my mind and I really really wanted them so these are you ready this is my Gucci bag from my other uh, bag purchase these are the shoes how insane so yeah, as I said, you are either going to love them or hate them. And I totally get that. Um, but I freaking love them. And the fact that I own these now is just like a huge milestone moment. Because I remember when she came in and I looked at them at the time. Because they are, they were, these are limited edition shoes. They're called the Flash Treks, if you guys are interested. They're the Gucci Flash Trek trainers. They don't sell them any... Sorry, my camera died. But yeah. They are the um, Flash Tech trainers. They do still sell the Flash Trek line, but these were limited edition. They are insane. I, I I was just so excited. And as I said, I've been looking for years in the resale market because they don't sell them anymore. And they were never in my size. And these popped up finally. So today where I picked them up from was a um, trainer guy here in Bristol who basically like restores, just like restores and everything, designer shoes and trainers and garments. Um, so yeah, I paid him to make these look box fresh and they really do they look stunning so I'm probably gonna wear these to the airport to Marbella because if you guys don't know so where we're going in Marbella is called Porto Benus Porto Benus and I've never been there before but it is absolutely it looks absolutely insane it looks like your seaside like seaside Spanish town that everybody knows but chuck in supercars super yachts suit luxury stores there's literally like on the front of the harbor there's literally like a nice place to have a drink a cocktail bar louis vuitton gucci like valentino it looks absolutely unlike anything i've ever seen in my life so not that we plan on having a shopping holiday but it's lovely me and my friend both have a few designer items and we love the designer shops um so it'd be cool to go for like that you know like the, that luxury shopping while in like a Spanish seaside town it's gonna be insane so yeah very excited about that very very excited but yeah so they're the shoes what do you guys think just so you know as well um these the jewels actually do like come completely off if you wanted so you can just have a normal trainer but obviously I bought them for the jewels so I am pretty obsessed and I kind of love the fact that at the back here they've got a little pink Thing. yeah the little pink band here I just think that's a really nice contrast and obviously on the tongue like these shoes are so me they're white and beige like insane so I grabbed those probably gonna wear them with what I showed you earlier but yes for now oh for now that's it but I'll take you downstairs and I'm just gonna lastly before we conclude this video the bits that I got from B&M today for my nan and gramps bathroom so I showed you a bit in store but I didn't show you everything so the first thing I got my nan is this I seen this in my come shop with me and I kind of wanted it for myself but I've already got the glass ones from Aldi these are plastic but I really like how they come in the like little tray as well but they literally look like glass so I'm going to fill this up with cotton pads and earbuds and thought that would look nice on the side of the bathroom I went and got this range from um B&M I wasn't sure which ones to go for so this is the main new england inspired range which is basically just the white gloss ceramic square range so i got the toilet brush for seven pounds i got the hand wash which is actually this is actually really nice with it being short and stumpy and quite large the hand wash dispenser for four pounds the tray i just basically bought everything in the set i bought the tray so you can see it has like a soap and a sponge in it but it's just really nice this was four pounds and i also got the toothbrush holder because they I, last i remember they actually had their toothbrushes out so this was only two pound fifty and i've seen this in there i thought this was so cute it's ceramic as you can hear and this is a little bathroom sign i just thought it'd be cute in there somewhere 
because uh, it's grey and white and the whole theme of the bathroom is grey and white. They're having a complete refit, like new walls, new floor, new suite, everything. And then I did pick up like a single marble duck. I think I showed you guys when it was there, but I remembered from a while ago that they did this set. And I remembered it was grey and white and I was like, oh my gosh, I think that would look so cute. So this is just a little bonus Jonas. It's the set of three ceramic ducks. It says perfect bathroom decoration and it was their special buys for six pounds. They are little ceramic duckies and that's white, dark grey and lighter grey. And I thought that these clustered on their windowsill would actually look so cute. So I couldn't resist those. And then finally, I got them a bath mat. And I didn't get the Get Naked one, but I did get the Rise and Shine. And I think that this one will be really, really nice in there because it's, it's very modern. It's got the grip on the bottom. It's really comfy. Uh, this was nine pounds and it's a super soft anti-slip backing bathroom collection matte. But I really like how it was more gray than white because most of the bathroom is very white apparently. So this one will be a nice contrast on the floor. And that was everything I picked up. It was just under 40 pounds, but I think that's gonna completely transform the bathroom. Well, obviously the bathroom's being transformed because it's being renovated. But I think these accessories make the biggest difference. Um, and obviously it's the finishing touches, which is my favorite part. So yes, that's everything I picked up. I think that's everything I've got to show you guys. We're having burgers tonight and I'm gonna be getting my chef free air fryer out. I'm obsessed with this thing now. I will leave the link to it down below. But yeah, they are, it is really good. I'm not gonna lie, it's so affordable, this air fryer on Amazon. I'm gonna be doing courgette fries for me. Andy has sweet potato, but I don't really eat carbs at the moment, especially while I'm on my weight loss and my shred for the holiday. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try courgette fries with my burger, which is gonna be Hopefully, yum. I will leave you guys all there. I'm gonna try and snap in a little clip to end this vlog of all the bathroom stuff in the new bathroom, fingers crossed. So this is actually a overview of what the bathroom looked like at my nan and gramps house before my mum and dad went in and completely redid it. I'm so excited because I have got a little video here to show you of the full transformation, which is this. Here's the rise and shine mat on the floor and oh my goodness, would you even notice that this is the same room? I cannot believe it. Beautiful little mirrored panels on the glass um, shower and then you've got on the windowsill there the little duckies I got, the little plastic containers, mum put a little Ikea plant there, this gorgeous side unit with the little things we bought from B&M as well and all chrome white clean and absolutely stunning. That's going to go ahead and end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Ciao! Now you make me feel like I'm alive. You are, you